Good morning and welcome back to the morning announcements. National Honor Society, prom, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. A big reminder that the National Honor Society applications are due to Mrs. Thomas in room 201 this Friday, April 7th. There will be a call-out meeting for any girl that is interested in trying out for the FHS cheerleading team on Wednesday, April 12th during community in the auxiliary gym. Please check in with your community teacher first before coming to the meeting. This is a very important meeting. Tryout practices as well as important information will be discussed at the call-out. There are tryout practice schedules available to be picked up in the office. Please mark your calendars with these important dates. If you have any questions, please contact the athletic office. Also, seniors, cap, gown, and tassels are going to be available for pickup in Collaboration Room 2 during your lunchtime on April 20th. If you have any questions, email Mrs. Rennick or call Herf Jones directly at 317-731-5413. Now, let's send it to sports and weather. Thanks, Emily. The Frankfurt track team started this year off strong against Western Boone and Clinton Prairie, winning against both teams to start the year off with the 2-0 record. The guys' team was led by strong performances by Aiden and Ethan Hudsmith in the pole bar. Jacob Burns in the 100 and disc, Garrick Burge in the 300 hurdles, Chris Angeles in the 3200, Mauro Lopez in the 400, and the 4 by team of Garrick Burge, Mauro Lopez, Alex Lopez, and Angel Perez. The girls team lost but started this year off with a lot of strong individual performances. Jocelyn Ramirez started with her strong season in the high jump. Lexi Reed Gill had a great start of the season in the long jump in the 300 hurdles. And Naomi Garcia and Ashley Vasquez had great times in their distance events as well. Both teams are looking to continue improving as they go to Harrison on Thursday for another three-way meet with Harrison and Faith Christian. The varsity baseball team picked up a 3-1 win over Rossville last night in the home opener. Brian Valdez earned the win with five strong innings on the mound. Oscar Lopez and Alex Lopez each pitched an inning in relief with Alex picking up his first save of the season. Way to go, dogs. But that's all for sports. Now to weather with Lily. Thanks, Holden. The current weather is at a warm 70 degrees with slight wind, yet the humidity is at 80%, making it seem hotter. Severe storms have been predicted from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., possibly including damaging winds, significant hail, or even tornadoes. Make sure to stay safe and keep an eye out for new updates as the day continues. Have a great day. Now back to your hosts. Don't forget, dogs. Prom is coming up on the 15th, so if you don't have a permission slip, go get one at the bookstore and buy your ticket. Tickets are 25 right now. So if you wait on the last two days, they will increase to 30 and $35. And also for lunch today, in lines one and two is taco scoops, and in lines three and four is mini cinnamon French sticks and sausage links. There's no birthdays today, so yeah. Well, that's all for the morning announcements today, dogs. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe.